right, boys and girls, today we're going to learn how to play a new math game. So I want you to take a minute to look over our game board that we're going to have today and check out some things that you notice about it. And before we share with the class, I want you to share with an elbow buddy next to you about what you notice about our new game board. I would like you to share some things that you notice. I'm going to draw some sticks out today so we each get a chance to share something about our game board. Autumn, what did you notice about our game board today? Um, I noticed that there's like a number line, like 0 to 10. Oh, very good. All right. Anna, what did you notice today? Um, the one spinner has um, pluses and minuses. All right. So what do you think those pluses and minuses might be used for? Anyone have an idea what the pluses and minuses might be used for? Jamie Lynn, what do you think? Um, you can, you probably spin the spinner once and then spin it again, so then you spin the other spinner and something minus something. Okay, or so something. how about where my um, paper clips are here? I have a plus and a one. What do you think we might do today with that? A plus and a one. Um, we might do a plus one. Be a plus one problem. We've been working on some math back strategies. Hey, Liana, what else do you notice about our game board today? <coughs> We have a blank box up here on the top and a blank box down here on the bottom. All right, we're going to take a minute to look at our number line right across here. <coughs> and Autumn and Kayliana, I like how you both already knew that that was called a number line. We're going to take a minute to look at this. And I noticed that right here I have a dark black line right there. I want you to talk to your elbow buddy about what number you think I might use to label that dark black line. Why do you think you would label this five? One, two, three, four, five. In the middle, five. So you count it on from the zero? Okay, voices quiet in three, two, and one. Who thinks they have an idea of what number I should label that dark black line with today? Reagan, what do you think I should label it with? A five. A five. What makes you think that that should be a five? <coughs> Would you go up and use our pencil pointer and show us how you think that works? Is there another way to figure out how we know that might be a five? I heard lots of people saying they thought it was a five. Morgan, how else might we figure out what to label that with? Because five plus five is ten. If you go back five, it's eight. Oh, so are you starting here and counting back? Would you go up and show us how that works? How do you know that this is counting back five when there aren't any other numbers on here? Because <coughs> you can count one, two, three, four, five. Okay. I see a ten right here though instead of a one. So how could we count back from ten? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Right. Fantastic. You may have a seat. If you think I should label that with a five, give me a thumbs up. If you respectfully disagree, give me a thumbs down for that one. All right. Really? I see you are disagreeing. What do you think should be labeled on that dark black line? Six. A six. How did you figure out that it should be a six?
That's very interesting. I want you to take a minute to look at the number that is labeled on this line. What number did they label this one with? A zero. So if we're going with the numbers that are here and we have a zero, what do you suppose this one would be labeled with? One, two, three, four, and a five. All right, so you know what? I like how you were thinking, though. If this wasn't labeled, we might label it a little differently. But since we already have a label here, I like how you figured that out and counted 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. All right, so we're going to go ahead and label this one with a 5. And we're going to label all of our other lines on here with numbers. So, Rayleigh, what did you tell me? What's going to go after our 0 here? What should I write one. here? A 1. And everybody, what should go here? 2, 3, 4. I already have my 5, so what's this one going to be? Six. And we have a 10 there. Okay, so we have our number line now labeled with our numbers from 0 to 10. All right, today we're going to play a game called Race to 10. This is our number line, Race to 10. So well, you guys are going to be playing against me today. I'm going to be blue, and I'm going to go up here on top of the number line. Aww. You all are going to be red, and you're going to go down here. Oh. And I'm actually going to move our counters a little closer to our number line here. And one of the reasons I'm going to do this, you are going to get a chance to play this with a partner today in a little bit. And to make our spinners move kind of quickly, I had to use some big paper clips. And I noticed that if I have my blue counter way up here, my paper clip might knock it off. So we're going to keep our counters today kind of close to our number lines. Okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take some turns spinning. And like Jamie Lynn was talking about before, we have a spinner with some pluses and minuses. And we have a spinner with some numbers. So if we landed on a plus one, we're going to move our counter, our marker, ahead one. What do you think we're going to do if we landed on a minus two? What would we do for that one? Brayden, what do you think we would do? We would go back. We, we would go backwards, wouldn't we? Okay. As we're moving our markers, I want you guys to be thinking about maybe some math problems that we're working on as we're spinning. And how many more we would need to get to 10? How to win the game is that the first person that gets their marker on the 10 is going to be the winner. Do you have a question? What if it's a tie? If it's a tie, then we both win. But I don't think it'll be a tie because we're going to take turns spinning. So whoever spins and lands on the 10 on their turn will be the winner. Okay? Austin, you have one more question? Um, what if um, somebody gets on, like, the 9? Wait, hold on. What if somebody's on the 0 the whole time? Hopefully that won't happen, but it might. As we're playing, we might notice some things that we might need to make some decisions about. Yeah. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and spin and take my first turn. Uh-oh, I got a minus two. I'm the blue up here. Who can tell me where you think I'm going to land when I do my minus two? Josh, where do you think I will land? Three. On the three. How, do you fi how did you figure out I would land on the three? I just counted backwards. You counted backwards, so you went one, two. All right, does anyone see a math problem with that? Brady, what math problem do you see? Oh, very good. All right, so I'm going to hop back three, or two, I guess. One, two, and I'm landing on my three. Okay, and I'm going to have Matt come on up here and spin first for the class. Come on, Matt. So we have to spin both spinners. All right, oh, you guys got a plus and a three. Where do you think you're going to go? Oh, eight. Wow. Uh-oh. You guys are winning. How many more would you need to get to 10 to win the game? Haley, what would you need? Two. Two. What do I need to win the game? Nick, what do I need? Um, seven. Seven. How did you figure that out? Because I'm way farther away. Okay, 
fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna take my next turn. Oh no, I got another minus. All right, I have minus one. I'm gonna move back one. <laughs> All right, and Anna, will you come up and spin for the class? While she's coming up here, will you show me what our silent cheers look like? And what do our silent claps look like? Get excited for our spins, thank you. All right, Anna, give that a spin. We'll see what you get. A plus. And a three. Hmm. I think we have a little bit of a problem. Do you see what problem we have? We only have two, and you spun a plus. All right, I'm going to let you go have a seat. And I want you to talk to your neighbor about what you think we should do with this spin. What do you think we should do? Can we move three? So, what do you think should happen? We should just lose a turn. Okay. You guys are red. Though. What do you think we should do? Oh, make it a let like extend our number line. Skip a turn. Oh, wait, I need some voices off in three, two, and one. I had some great ideas over here. I want to see some other ideas that we had. Matt, what do you think we should do since we spun a plus three? Leave it at eight until we get a two. Okay, so just lose your turn? Okay. All right, any other ideas? Brayden, what do you think should happen? Skip a turn. Skip a turn. All right, Karan, you had another idea besides just losing our turn. Just make a eleven. All right, Karan said, there's an arrow here. We could continue our number line and make an 11, and then we could go ahead, one, two, three. So, so far, what's your idea, Lexi? Respin. Respin. Ooh, we have three great ideas. Some of us think we should just lose our turn. No. Some of us think we should extend our number line. Mm -hmm. yeah. And some of us think we should spin again. Yeah. We're going to take a little vote. So I want you to think in your mind, what would you like to do on our game? You can only pick one thing. If you think we should lose our turn, raise your hand nice and high so I can see what you think we should do. All right. If you think we should extend our number line, raise your hand. Okay. If you think we should spin again, raise your hand. All right, it looks like most of us want to have another turn to spin again. So that means we're going to keep spinning until we get something that works with our number line. Now, I have a quick question for you, though. Karan said we could extend our number line here. What would happen if we extended the number line on this side? So let's say I spun a minus 3, and I could go 1, 2, hmm. Oh. How would we extend the number line past zero? Okay, that's Morgan, going? what's your idea? Negative one. Oh, so it would be a minus. negative number. How would we write that? And a one. When you have a chance to play this game with your partner, I'll let you decide whether you want to spin again, lose a turn, or extend your number line. So you might think about how that's going to use some negative numbers at the end. Okay, Anna, we decided to spin again, so I'm going to let you come up and spin again since it was your turn. And we'll see where the red is going to land. Okay, let's spin both of those again. I think that one's more on the plus than the minus, so we'll go with the plus. And a one. All right, can we do that one? Okay. If you know what you need to win, raise your hand. Everybody whisper it to me. Oh, very good. Okay, my turn. Oh, I finally got a plus. All right, a plus one. I'm going to jump ahead one. And Kelsey, will you come spin next for the class, please? All right, what are you trying to get to win? Plus one. Oh, we have a takeaway. No. Takeaway two. No. <laughs> no. All right, thank you. Oh, no, I got a takeaway three. Yeah. <laughs> Who thinks they know where I'm going to land with my takeaway three? Lexi A, where am I going to land? On my zero. Very good. One, two, three. All right. 
Thanks. Tyler, come on up to spin for the class, please. Oh. All right, take away two. Where is that going to put you? Five. Now what do you guys need to win? How many more would you need to get to ten? Plus five. I know, all right. Okay, I got a plus three. One, two, three. Yeah! All right, Nolan, come on up to spin for the class, please. All right, give it a spin. A plus one. Move yours ahead one. All right, great job. Uh-oh, I got another minus three. I'm back to where I was. All right, Brayden, come on up next. All right, you got a plus and a three. Rebecca. All right, before I spin, who can tell me a math problem we just did? If you were on six and you spun a plus three, what math problem do you think that showed? Six mm -hmm. plus three. Good job. All right. Oh, no. Minus two. Now, I have a minus one. Who knows what I should do? What did we decide we would do if we couldn't use our spin? Nick, what could we do? Um, spin again. Spin again, so I have to spin again. All right, oh, I got a plus oh. three. One, two, three. Up next for the class is Karan. Come on up here. <laughs> All right, you got a plus. No! Now you get to spin again because you can't use your plus two. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, fun game. Oh